In this video we're gonna learn how to work on the create and dispose after we've seen how in case we click on description we obtain the description and whenever we click on letter F we obtain the flowchart so I'm gonna do a program to fill in the create module and to dispose all the entities usually the entities it represent a human being or a product within a manufacturing plant so in case I created an entity I have to dispose it at the end of the program dispose it as if you're getting rid of the entity after studying it or as if the person has exit the system so let's start by saying I want to create uh, to create a series of entities so this is my system in so I have here patients in a service station in case there is one person arriving time between arrival here time that elapsed between arrival of one person and the person after him so in case we need constant arrival meaning that if exactly a person arrive one person arrive exactly every five minutes so it will be constant five minutes okay in case the person on average one person every 10 minutes so it will be a random exponential in case the if it is follow a schedule a schedule it will be filled in later on which is a little bit harder but at this stage we're happy to do a constant a schedule it will it's, it's the perfect scenario for scheduling a time between arrival is the example of supermarket when we have different arrival rate at different time of the day the entities per arrival it's always let's set it to one unless there are for example in this case we have patients there are three patients are coming to the health center and they all need to be examined by the doctor if the other way around there's one patient but is accompanied by his family members so we keep this number to one in fact entities per arrival it means the number of people they needing the service the maximum arrival is the maximum entity the system will create before it stops there are two ways for Anina to stop running either from the maximum arrival so by the time it finished creating on the entity set up in the maximum arrival to stop or by what's known as replication parameters which we'll see in the next video so at this stage I'm gonna put 10 entities so whenever it creates 10 entities and the time between one entity and the other is 5 minutes it will stop the program and the time the first creation is the running time when it creates the first entity so we say here ok and we have here system out ok so if we run the program and I could see 10 entities has exit the system ok and we have in time 0 0.75 hours which is about 50 minutes or 45 minutes because the first entity has been created at zero so everything is correct so in the next video we're gonna see how to put a clock or a time on the screen